Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and what is a bobkin? A bobkin can also go by another name. It can go as an elastic threader, or it can go as a tape threader. And how do you use them? Well, there's a lot of different ones on the market, and they all can be used for many different applications. You can get long, flexible ones and they come in many different shapes and sizes. The reason they're long and flexible is for you to get the ties back into t-shirts and sweatpants. Each of them will have different ends, so it will be a preference that you find that you like best. This long metal one, you would put your tie in, then there's a little knob here that slides down to hold that into place. You can get them with little clips that hold the tie in place. Then you can get one that looks like a big eye of the needle. And that's going to hold it in just by the shape. So you're going to be able to find one end and thread it all the way through. And once you start threading it through, you're able just to pull it out and you have the end through. And you can do the same thing with a safety pin. Depending on how big your casing is, depends on the size of the pin. And you can do it the same way. You would just put it through, lock it, and then gradually feed it through. However, the long thin ones work a lot better for hoodies and sweatpants. And just a hint, if you have a string that comes out of the hoodie a lot, just stitch down so that the string is held in and it still can be adjusted from the end, but it will never pull out. And you can also get another style, and they're more commonly known as elastic threaders or tape threaders because they're designed to put elastic and tape and ribbon into the garment. You can get a set that has three different sizes. The three different sizes will match up to the different size elastics. So you'll put the elastic into one hole and then back into the other. And when you pull it down, it's going to secure it so it doesn't come out. Then you're able to use this and go through the casing and pull the elastic through and they all will be threaded the same way. You can also use the little holes for the thread elastic. You can get ones that look like big sewing needles and it's the same concept as the other one. It just comes in. However, with this one, you need to secure it because it can come out. So you can just tie a quick knot and then when you finish pulling this through, you will be able to take the knot out. You can use the one that's still longer, it's flexible, but it has the little teeth, it has a little grip on it, so that when you put the elastic in there, or the ribbon, and close it, it stays in. Now this can be used for any size. I have a drawstring pair of pants that I'd like to put an elastic in, in place of the drawstring. So I will be able to take one of my bobkins or my elastic threaders, put it in and put it through and replace that ribbon. Sometimes we'll have an elastic or a ribbon that's stuck inside that we can't get to. And that's where this loop turner is handy because of that little hook on it. You'll be able to stick it in and then you're gonna be able to feel where that is, hook it on to that ribbon or the elastic, and you're going to be able to pull it out. So this, even though it's a loop turner, sort of works opposite to the bobkins. Do you need a whole selection of bobkins? Well, I suppose you could stick with just a good old fashioned safety pin. However, there are some bonuses to having a few different ones in your stash. The flat ones, make it really nice for the big elastic because it keeps the elastic nice and flat and doesn't let it twist inside the casing. 
The long thin ones are perfect when you're needing to put the strings through small little casings such as hoodies and small little waistbands. And because they all are used for many different things, it's kind of nice to have an assortment in your sewing box. Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips from Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.